Hi, everybody, and welcome to the John Meyer Podcast, where we bring you thought leadership and conversations from around the world, including exciting new releases and announcements. Joining us once again is none other than the CEO of Open Ups, Amit. Please join me in welcoming Amit to the show. Amit, thanks for joining me. Hi, John. Always glad to be here. You know, I love talking to you on the podcast. Like, it's, uh, every conversation is absolutely amazing. Amit, we've got some major announcements happening here on the show today. But before we get to that, could you remind the audience, what is OpenOps? OpenOps is a no-code workflow system uh, for automating your uh, cloud operations and specifically FinOps. Um, we built this product because we identified a gap in the market where we saw FinOps practitioners, they have visibility. They uh, already integrated a visibility system or they're using their cloud provider tooling for visibility and they know a lot of issues that they have and want to fix a lot of things they want to improve but then actually running the operations around actually doing that especially in a big enterprise with uh, complex environments or for MSPs that have a lot of customers that becomes extremely complex and uh, that's where a solution like ours can bring great benefits and uh, help bridge that gap. Amit, I'm going to walk backwards for the audience. And, you know, in the last few months, we'd had some major announcements. Uh, a few months ago, we actually talked about how OpenOps was bring your own AI to OpenOps. And then before that was the major and huge announcement that we shared OpenOps was going open source. You shared your vision on how this will drive community to collaborate together. Today, you have exciting news on actually how this co is coming to fruition. Let's share with the audience, what is this? Indeed, when we released the open source, we got amazing reactions from the community. And uh, this was amazing to see. It was amazing to see that people react so positively towards that. But our vision in doing so was always that we we want to change things. We want to change how things work. We want to create, to bring a new level of collaboration to the market. And what we will be uh, releasing in the open source today and uh, in the coming weeks and the announcements that we will be doing uh, uh, soon are exactly tuned to that. We're going to announce a few dozens of new integrations with FinOps platforms in our open source solution, including integrations with the market leaders based on the Forrester Wave, uh, IBM Cloudability, Broadcom Cloud Health, and Flexera, and many, many, many other FinOps platforms, both visibility platforms and specialized systems that specialize on Kubernetes or other types of specialized technologies. Amit, this is a major announcement. Not only you have a few dozen integrations, you revamped existing integrations, you're adding and enhancing new integrations. How are you able to accomplish so many platforms at once? How did you guys make this happen? Well, I can't credit us, you know, for all of that. Of course, our team is amazing and our R&D runs super fast. But in the end, it was about the other platforms collaborating with us and helping us and working together to bring connectivity to the FinOps market and connectivity and automation and advanced workflows to the entire FinOps market. Because whatever we wanted to do, you know, we got so much help um, because we took the risk upon ourselves and open sourced this and allowed anyone to use this, anyone to uh, um, see our code, etc., and and even use it freely. Other platforms understood that if they want to drive more value to their customers, the effort required from them is very low. All they need to do is collaborate with us uh, a bit and poof, they have an integration within our open source and they can bring a lot new, uh, more new capabilities into the market. And that is actually the secret to how this was built so fast. Now, there was another uh, compelling event that helped accelerate this. Um, I think for us, the last FinOps X was the first time we sponsored and uh, had a booth and uh, had real presence uh, on the floor there and that was amazing because essentially uh, suddenly we were also in the same place with all the other uh, players in the field 
and uh, Rita, our CTO, to her credit, uh, basically made uh, FinOpsX become a hackathon. She <laughs> went and sat with every technical person from every other platform, and they started, uh, they got the green light from executive team to uh, build the integration, and they started, they started working on this. So uh, this was seeded in FinOpsX. That's where we managed to build a lot of the things together by just being in the same place at the same time and having like all the qualified people both to execute and to uh, make the decision in the same place. And from there, this wave started. And, you know, once it started, it can't be stopped anymore. That's it, because, you know, everyone wants to join in. And that's really, really cool to see. I mean, what's the importance of these integrations with all the leading visibility platforms? So for us, um, our vision has always been to bring automation everywhere, to bring automation to uh, any FinOps practitioner that desires to uh, uh, improve their processes, scale their processes, achieve more. And um, I think with these integrations, we are able to do so. It doesn't matter uh, if you're company chose to use this platform or that platform, all of them bring their own unique value and they are all amazing. We've been working with all of them. Um, you want to enhance that and we want to make that available to everyone. So from the FinOps practitioner perspective, from the cloud operations uh, perspective, this these integrations enable everyone to adopt automation. It enables uh, a new standard for uh, building automations in this space. And that's the huge thing for us, of course. Now, also for, for the platforms that are partnering with us, this brings a lot of value because it enhances their capability and it does so without the immediate need to involve a third party vendor. Uh, and that's also a huge deal for them as well. So we created Thankfully, I think, I hope that we created a win-win-win situation where everyone wins out of uh, this collaboration and out of this new infrastructure that is emerging in our market. So, Amit, it really seems to me that you're trying to build a new standard or format for FinOps automation. Is that the case? Or if so, what is your vision for it? Yeah, so um, this has been uh, our vision all along, you know, we, we wrote it in the pitch deck uh, a few, uh, like two or three years ago. And this was, this is quite amazing to see this come to life and to see that, you know, the idea is moving from theory to reality. Um, I think that, you know, the, the reason that we open sourced part of that was definitely to create a new standard um, because we believe um, creating a standard in this industry has two major uh, advantages. One of them is the ability to share knowledge, right? If, if there is a standard for how you build automation, and uh, then whether I'm working uh, in this company or the other, I can share what I did and it's immediately transferable. It's immediately adaptable to someone else. We can look at that through solutions in the market like GitHub, like once I publish something on GitHub and that's the standard for how you publish code, then people can start sharing code, people can start using each other's code, people can start to collaborate. We hope to create that in the FinOps market uh, 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 using a new standard which is based on our open source. Um, the other thing is that, you know, no code, building no code workflows, automating your practice, it's a skill you acquire in your career. And by having something that's a standard, you allow practitioners to ramp up to build their skill on that um, uh, proficiency and then transfer it between companies. Like So they built automation in one company that was using one uh, visibility systems. Now they are moving to another company which already made the decision they are using another system. But their skills in building automations on top of that are transferable because it's a standard. So. We are not a standard yet, but I think, and, and there's room for more than one standard in the industry, but I think that this has great potential to become a solid market standard and uh, to encourage everyone to build on top of that, which will then unlock huge amounts of value 
for everyone. Uh, so that's indeed part of our vision and did part, part of what we are trying to build here. Amit, I got one more question for you, and I really don't know how you're going to top all the releases and enhancement that you've been doing with OpenOps over the months, but what is coming next for OpenOps? Well, in terms of uh, driving uh, innovation forward, we're in an amazing time because the landscape around us is evolving so fast. And uh, I'm, of course, speaking about AI. Um, in the last few months, we've seen agents um, become more than an idea, become a real infrastructure with standards of its own, by the way, for connectivity like MCP and A2A, which enable connecting agents to software and agents to other agents. Um, in terms of uh, where we are going with uh, this product is definitely to enable that, uh, to enable uh, not only connectivity between APIs, but connectivity between AI and APIs and uh, agents and other agents within the cloud operation space and within FinOps specifically. So in terms of what you can expect from us in the coming months, you will start to see more of that as well as more and more integrations. Uh, we don't have 100% coverage yet on, uh, on FinOps and we will, uh, of course, deepen our collaborations uh, our collaboration with more and more platforms uh, until we uh, will reach 100% coverage. We will keep pursuing that. So uh, these are the main things that you can expect from us in the near future. Ahmed, I'm looking forward to some more announcement from Open Ops and some of the enhancements, the integrations, the partners, everything that you guys are doing. Thank you so much for joining me on the show and releasing this announcement. Thank you for having me, John. Uh, always a pleasure. Yeah, likewise. Everybody, this has been the John Meyer Podcast. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notify because guess what? We're out of here.